Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Cucumber project with Rest Assured. First, we'll want to create an empty Cucumber project. All right, so I have IntelliJ opened here and we'll click on New Project. All right, now I'm going to click on Create from Archetype and then I will add archetype and the group ID is io.cucumber artifact ID cucumber archetype and the version is 7.12.1 I'm going to hit OK and then I should have this here and now I can click next and I'm going to call this full stack book uh, cucumber rest assured and then hit next and finish all right now our project has been generated so let's run our test and see if it works so I'm gonna open up source and then open up Java and then we'll go here and then we'll click here to run the cucumber tests. And all of our steps have passed. And then we can go and take a look at our step definitions here. Right, these are the example scenarios and uh, the when and the then and then uh, under resources, I can see the feature here, right? And this is mapped to the step definitions in here. Uh, I could also run this feature like this. Now the next step is to install Rest Assured. So I'm going to go back to the browser and click on API automation. And you can see that um, it says that Cucumber is not an API automation tool, but it works well with other API automation tools. And then Rest Assured is one of the recommended options. I'll click here to go to the official website and I'll scroll down, click on getting started. And since we're using Maven, I'll just have to copy this and then go back to IntelliJ. Okay, so now that we are back in IntelliJ, I'm going to go to my palm.xml, go to dependencies, and then paste uh, the dependency here. Actually, this is in the wrong spot. Uh, okay, there we go. And then I'll click on Maven and reload all Maven projects. So I have a simple to-do CRUD API running in the background. Uh, so if I go to new request and call localhost 8000 to-dos, you can see that I have a list of to-dos here. And this also supports uh, post, request, update, and delete. All right, so let's go ahead and create a new feature. I'm going to create a file here and call this to do dot feature. And I'll call this feature uh, to do. And um, let's see, we need a scenario. So scenario and I'll just say uh, uh, to do. And we need a given, when, and then. So given I have created a to-do when I update the to-do, then the to-do should be updated. All right, so if I try to run this, I should get some test failures. All right, so you can see that 
these step definitions have not been um, implemented yet. So I just have to copy this, go to, uh, let's create a new file for this. So I'll call this to do step definitions and go here and then I'll paste that in and then I'll do an alt enter so I can import these annotations and all right let's go back to the to do feature and run it again and see if anything has changed okay so it looks like uh, it's it's now saying that it's pending so now we just have to implement our step definitions here All right, so if we go back to the rest assured documentation and go into usage guide and go to static imports, I want to copy these and then go back to IntelliJ. All right, I'm back in IntelliJ and I'm going to paste in the static imports. So import static. So it looks like uh, there was an issue with getting this dependency installed. I'm gonna try to hit reload uh, and see if that fixes it. So that didn't fix it. So I'm gonna go to palm and it looks like I put this in the wrong place. So I'm gonna cut this dependency and put it uh, down here instead. And then I'll go ahead and hit reload and now I have rest assured as a dependency. I'll go back to the step definitions and you can see that it was successfully imported. All right, so now we'll want to make a rest call to our API. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and then go back. So I'm gonna paste uh, that into here. So I'm gonna first get rid of this, paste it in here. And I'll go ahead and add my API here. Uh, let's get the first one. And I'll say um, name is equal to uh, foo. Okay, and let's go back to our to-do feature and run it. Okay, so you can see that one test has passed. So now we need to update our to-do and we can use a hash map to do that. So. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this here and then go back to IntelliJ. I'll get rid of this here and I'll paste this in. And I'll do Alt Enter to get that imported. Alt Enter, Alt Enter. And so for the value here, I wanna have um, uh, name. And let's call this bar. And then for completed, we'll mark this as true. And instead of uh, post, we'll do a put. And then for this, I'll do localhost 8000 to do's uh, three. Um, and now uh, let's might as well fill this one as well. So I'll copy this, do the get here, and then this should equal to bar. Um, all right, so let's see. 
what happens when we run this. Okay, cannot serialize object because no JSON serializer found in class path. Uh, please put Jackson uh, or one of these in the class path. All right, since we are missing Jackson, I've gone ahead and uh, went to Maven repository in the browser, and I'm gonna search uh, for Jackson. And this is the one that we want. And um, I'm just gonna pick the one that has the highest number of uses. So uh, that would be this one right here. And then I'll copy this, and then I will go back to IntelliJ. All right, and then I'm gonna paste in the dependency here and reload the project. Okay, and then let's go back to the feature and run. All right, so three of our tests have passed. So let's try one, running this one more time and see what happens. So you see that it, it doesn't match because, um, uh, you know, we changed it to bar already. So we should do some cleanup. And in the cleanup, we'll uh, change it back to foo. Alright, so I've gone ahead and created this cleanup function here, and I'm using the after annotation. So after our tests, uh, this will get run, and I'm just changing it back to foo. So now if I go to the feature and run the feature again, uh, it should fail the first time. And you can see that the after block was run. Uh, if I run it again, it should pass. All right, let's run it one more time. All right, our integration tests have passed. And that concludes this video on how to set up Cucumber and rest assured. Thank you for watching.